Hello my fellow anti bottom fighters and welcome back for more Mega Man 2 with Conan Sport. Today we're gonna take on Heatman stage. Also, it has just struck me that I have not actually used Metal Blade last episode. So, to compensate, I will be using it so freaking much this episode. Because this stage has so obnoxious enemies. Ellie's and more obnoxious stuff. Yeah, I don't like it. These guys appear when they want, and let's just say that when they appear, always sucks for in my opinion, so uh I always spam Metal Blades. Like so hard whenever these guys appear. Because they give me a lot of trouble otherwise, and I don't like them. Yeah. So this is Heatman stage. See the lava? It's insta kill. What, you think it wasn't gonna be insta kill? Well, sorry it is. This stage also has obnoxious... And I mean obnoxious... By the way, the quick one can kill these guys, yeah. This stage also has, as I was saying, obnoxious platforming. Like, it's so bad. It's so bad. Also, one more thing, the bubble lad can kill these guys. Yeah, so there are some... This is one of those cases where, uh... Enemy placement, yeah, kinda sucks, so yeah. So now we have our introduction to this thing. This is the Heatman blocks, or Yokai blocks, or whatever. They suck. That would be the most appropriate summary of these things. These blocks really do suck. I don't like them. Actually, no one likes them, but that's beside the point. I need to get better at platforming. It's been so long since I had to deal with these block sections. I haven't played Mega Man 2 for a while, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, uh, all that... All of that showing off I did last episode... Uh, yeah, I really had. Despite all the showing off I did last episode, I really haven't played Mega Man 2 in forever. It's been so long, so long, dude. You don't know, you don't know. The sooner these tellies get gone, the better. I don't like them. You can use Clash Bomb or Crash Bomb to get through that. It's not fun. Believe me. And I don't actually have Crash Bomb yet, so yeah. Oh, here it begins. <laughs> yeah, did I say this, this place has obnoxious placement? Yeah, it does. Don't believe me? Well, that should be enough proof. Also, oh wait, yeah, forgot quick boomerang. This section, this section, this section, this section, this section freaking sucks and I'm not gonna deal with any of it. Goodbye. Oops, uh, okay, that was my bad. <laughs> I ran that through. Okay, I was asking for that one. I am not dealing with any of that nonsense, so yeah, I am too all the way. And I don't care. I don't care if you call me a hacker, a cheater, or whatever. This section sucks and I don't want to deal with any of it, so screw off. I am not in the mood to deal with this. Not in the slightest. I'm not in the mood to deal with you two, Sniper Joe, so get lost. Alright, so now that we've made it to Heatman, uh, his weakness is Bubblelet. Surprise, surprise, surprise. So yes, we will be spamming Bubblelet. AKA the weapon no one uses in Mega Man 2, but whatever. It has its users, it, it does, really does have its users. Heatman is fast. He likes to teleport. And you can normally jump over that if you've got timing. Normally he, he does, he swoops across the room at a random time, but it's still generally predictable compared to him tossing on his fire, so just, just wait for him to zip across the room, then spam bubble that. That's basically the strategy. Ah uh, yeah, this is why I get item 2 before going to Heatman stage. I do not like dealing with that very last section. It sucks. Hard. Anyway, after defeating Heatman, we get Atomic Fire, which is actually one of the most powerful weapons in the game if you charge, but it like, wastes so much time. It, it takes forever to charge, so the charge shot really isn't worth it, except for like one or two cases. We also get our final item from Dr. Light after beating Heatman, so yeah, that's that's good. Item 1. Again, these names are ultra generic, and uh, yeah. So, like, maybe just one more password, and then one more stage. Yeah, we're saving Crashman or Clashman for last. He's called Clashman in Japan, but 
for some reason they changed it to Crash Man, so don't ask me why, I don't know. If you enjoyed this episode of Mega Man 2 with Conan Sport, do feel free to hit that like button, comment down your thoughts, and share this video. And next time we'll be taking on the final Robot Master, and then... Kablamo! Fun stuff happens. <laughs>